we're here at the Legoland Hotel. So excited. My family doesn't really do fancy hotels most of the time, but we wanted to do this as a birthday present for my daughter. Um, she loves staying at a hotel. And of course, we booked the princess room. <laughs> I go to look when I go to theme parks so I like to keep it simple I like to keep it really hydrated and I really like to put a lot of sunscreen so I like to put products that have sunscreen so my foundation has sunscreen and I like to keep my foundation on the light side so medium coverage so normally I, I would apply my regular moisturizer with sunscreen and then I also apply foundation with sunscreen it's actually six in the morning here I'm filming while my kids are asleep, we're starting off with a lip balm. And this is Aquaphor, it has SPF. Our hotel room is really nice. The hotel room here at the Legoland Castle is really nice, but um, we got a sucky view. I guess it's fine, it's not like, um, it's not like we're staying at the hotel most of the time, although Legoland closes at six this week, which is, unusually early time um the last time we came here was in october um for my son's birthday like seven years ago i think six or seven years ago and it was still and they closed around that same time too so i wish they they closed later this is smashbox um photo finish hydrating under eye primer something hydrating but what i really like about it is the pink tint really good at hiding those dark circles okay smashbox primer water because my face is really feeling dehydrated right now it's feeling irritated forgot to bring a clip a hair clip with me we were gonna go to the Legoland water park but the weather just was freezing cold in June guys in June so that really was a big bummer but um, you know when I'm going for a light coverage I like to put on this covergirl BB cream this one L'Oreal gives me a little bit more full coverage today it's gonna be a full day at Legoland um, we're gonna spend the whole day there so you know I want my makeup to last before I start let me put on my Dr. Brent pore minimizing primer and I'm just Looking down on my mirror here. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this primer yet. I mean, it's definitely smoothing out the pores. My Cover FX Mattifying Primer. That's a must for me, mattifying primer. I can probably skip the pore filling, but the mattifying is no. It helps prolong my makeup, takes away the oils and the shine. So I like to apply it in my T-zone. Excuse me if I'm looking down, that's where my mirror is. What I like about the Cover FX Mattifying Primer is that it has an anti-acne treatment, so it's really um, more for those people who have acne-prone skin, um, we got the princess room, so I'll be showing you guys a quick tour of that soon. Basically, the idea for this room, the princess room, is that she's a princess, but she's training to be a knight. My daughter loves her bunk bed. She was more excited for the hotel room than Legoland. <laughs> but we thought, you know, Legoland was for my son, and then the hotel room would be for my daughter. One of the perks at of staying here at the Legoland Castle is that they have after hours activity. So last night we watched a little, you know, 30 minute play. It was really funny. I can tell my daughter really enjoyed it. On some nights they have movie nights, so that was nice. Brought my beauty blender with me and I love this little traveling case. I'm sure you guys seen it. Go and watch my makeup travel essentials video. I show you everything that I bring with me on a trip. Adding like just another half pump just to kind of perfect the center of my face a little bit more and then of course concealer i brought my urban decay naked skin i can live without foundation but i can't live without concealer my new favorite brush i love it for the under eyes it really gets to those um, creases and it's really perfect in blending those hard to reach places like around your eyes, the inner corner of your eyes, the 
the blemishes are gone and then I go in with the sponge to kind of absorb the excess you want to aim to look like you didn't put any makeup on that perfect skin look without it being like you put a mask on. People ask me once, how do you get yourself ready? I wake up early to get myself ready. Um, I strongly believe in self-care is not selfish. What I'm really trying to say is that we as parents really have to take care of ourselves. Our children use uh, most of our time and um, energy you know, not just time, but energy. And so you have to find that perfect balance. So if I wanna look nice going to a theme park, I have to wake up early. It's just about, you know, organizing your time because by the time I'm ready, the kids are ready to wake up. And now I can finally go in and, you know, help my daughter brush her teeth, find her clothes. Another tip too is that um, the night before, I like to get all of their clothes ready. You know how it's so hard to get everybody awake in the mornings and you wanna try to make it to the park as early as possible. So I really wanna try to get a head start by getting stuff ready, what they're gonna wear the next day, um, what are we bringing the next day, water bottles, snacks, you know, filling up our backpacks, change of clothes. So I just got this Urban Decay Born to Run it's perfect for going on a trip with because it has um, all the colors you could possibly need and the colors aren't really that um, bright they're all very wearable I woke up early so I have that extra time to just you know maybe put a little more eyeshadow but if I didn't my final look would be just this putting a very neutral eyeshadow on the crease and that's it so there's so many colors i like in this palette this ignite one is perfect gold copper but i think the smock one is my my favorite it's like the perfect neutral color for me without being too bright then another color that i like here in this palette is punk it's my new favorite eyeliner and my goal is to find an eyeliner like this because it looks like this one, it looks like a plummy brown eyeliner. And it's so flattering for my skin tone. And just, I think it's gonna be flattering for any kind of skin tone. It's not too harsh like a black eyeliner, you know? So I'm gonna use that. So today we're gonna go with smog on the lid. Smog. See that? It's so pretty. It's so natural, but it's so flattering at the same time. So as I was saying, I, I packed for sunny weather. I'm wearing kind of like this chambray dress and then I was gonna wear it with some tennis shoes. Thank goodness I brought tennis shoes and not sandals. So going back to Riff, that's kind of the same eyeshadow I used to put on my crease. I'm just putting that on just to blend the bottom lashes with the top. I'm going to add punk, that plummy brown color as an eyeliner. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of punk in the outer corner of my eyes just to give it that little lift. Just take a blending brush like this and just blend it. That way it's not too harsh. I'm even go back to that crease color riff and just blend some more. You know, topping it with a little bit eyeshadow kind of helps the blending be a bit more smoother. Okay, that's good. Time to take off the bake. Ah! Under my eye. Okay, next is bronzer. Mm. If you're gonna put on a full face of makeup, you gotta have bronzer to kind of give you that dimension in your face. Otherwise, you're gonna look like a dead person. 
kind of like the Twilight movie. Jamie, are you awake? Are you awake, baby? So it's about time that I wake them up. So I can be a little bit louder. Here's my e.l.f. waterproof gel eyeliner. Helps with thickening the lashes a bit more. Back to that punk color. Um, I just want to lock in the eyeliner. So even though you have a waterproof eyeliner, you still need an eyeshadow to set it. To really cement it down onto your eye. Okay, next is blush. And I'm using my Jouer blush right here. I'm so bad with hair. I'm probably just going to put my my entire hair in a you know in a ponytail and call it a day. Next is Anastasia brow gel. Oh my gosh, these baby hairs are so bad. I'm not even going to define my eyebrows. I'm just going to put the brow gel and that's it. Okay, looks good. So yeah, I'm not as excited for the highlight because of this freaking weather. But I'm putting it anyway. <laughs> right. To lock it all in. And then you can't forget mascara. My trusty L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Um, if I wasn't filming, this makeup look would probably take me about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's not too bad giving yourself that little extra bit of time for yourself and just to get yourself ready before the real hustle begins. So this is Maybelline's Made For All Lipstick, by the way. I love it in the color mall for me. Hi guys, I know the video stopped abruptly. Um, I didn't get a chance to film an outro at the end of my makeup routine. And so this is it, me saying goodbye. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post videos once a week. Also have a video on the tour of the newly built Legoland Castle Hotel in California. I'll put it at the end of this video so you can watch it. That video has a tour of the princess room that we stayed at at the hotel. So that's it. Hit like if you enjoyed this video and learned something and I'll see you back in my corner soon. Bye!